Hey Sydney, this trial looking at a pill many people already take to manage certain conditions related to hormones such as diabetes or PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. Now researchers at the UC Cancer Institute are studying it with certain cancers to see if it might lead to better survival rates. It's a commonly prescribed drug you can pick up by prescription at the pharmacy. It is called metformin. What it does is it makes you more sensitive to insulin. Dr. Tricia Wise Draper is one of the researchers giving it to patients in a study in addition to traditional treatment with chemotherapy for those with head and neck cancer. But we're trying to determine if we add metformin to this treatment, does it actually make the treatment more effective? Um, and what's the mechanism that it may be working through? Initial reviews found people who took the medication for treatment of diabetes did appear to have better survival with this cancer. But my study is actually looking at non-diabetic patients because the assumption is, is that metformin may be working through a certain mechanism that allows patients to fight cancer better. What's more, she says, is that previous studies have also shown that this kind of research and this medication might make a difference in treating another kind of cancer as well one that can potentially be just as deadly and we don't hear a lot about. It's pancreatic cancer. What they found was if you added metformin to chemotherapy, that one, it was well tolerated in the pancreatic patients. And although it wasn't yet statistically significant, they found that if you gave a higher dose of metformin, a little higher than what most diabetic patients are on, that they did seem to do better. Now the goal is to find out what made those patients do better. Dr. Wise Draper says it appears there's something in this medication that might inhibit a pathway that normally leads to cancer growth. So I had to ask, researchers say this medication does not appear to cause blood sugar levels to go too low in those in the study who do not have diabetes, which is usually what it does in those who do have uh, blood sugar problems. It appears somehow that a normal body just knows how to manage that. Sid? All right, interesting stuff. Thanks, Liz. You can find more information over on local12.com.